This is something else that just arrived uh, this past week that I wanted to check out. It came with this cable. I'm not gonna use this cable. I don't know what it's for, what it does, or how it's wired up. I don't use cables and colored wires to uh, put headers back on the, um, on the board. So I'm going to go ahead and clip away all of this extra stuff that was added to the device. All right, so what we got here is a uh, Kingston uh, flash drive, Intel memory chip, SK controller. First things first, uh, let's get a power supply, plug it in and check the readings. The readings are good, we're getting 50 milliamps. You can take out this device and plug it into a deep spired USB stabilizer for the further test. Now on the screen, I'm powering on the device. And it doesn't want to initialize. Now because it's not uh, taking in too much amps, um, we can tell that the problem is most likely not with the circuit, but it could be related to the connection. So take off the device. And let's uh, probe everything that's supposed to be physically attached. Sometimes these flash drives would get bent, hit, or dropped, or something like that, and uh, solder joints, they could just dislocate and break. And then seems to be good. And then there's attached. What do we have on the controller side? Controller is more uh, vulnerable to having broken pads because of these two cuts. They fall right on the line where the controller meets the board. So that's the flex point for the flash drive. That's what's going to get bent first. But based on what I'm seeing here, it looks pretty good to me. We have three and three. Three and three here as well. Three and three as well. Hmm. And we got 1.8 for the VCCQ. Yeah, so we got power going to the NAND. So really can't put my finger on it where the problem is. Most likely the problem is with the uh, NAND device. At this point, uh, we don't have many options. We got to uh, take off the memory and uh, work with it directly
So we're gonna ID both chips and uh, read them out. They're only four gigs each, so we have eight gigabyte flash drive in total capacity, so that shouldn't take too long. Uh, we know that our device is based on SK controller. It's SK6211. Uh, if we go into layout, let's see what kind of layouts SK6211 uh, offers. Not many, there's only uh, four of them, but the area I picked to test them on isn't the perfect one because where the gray areas are, that means there's no data. Uh, so scroll somewhere where the reds are and go into search. So SK6211, we can run the uh, um, power on extension for all of them. Looks like the uh, 540 is what we need to use. I'm going to close this. It's going to be the correct uh, layout for us. Uh, this layout doesn't have XOR, as you can see, and uh, this memory had been read very well um, because even in check, it's primarily all, all green. Maybe occasionally it's got, it's got like a uh, red sector here and there. So let's go ahead and uh, fix it all up by first of all engaging 8 cores and running uh, ECC correction. ECC fix will take care of all the error correction for us. Uh, now we can try to find the mix and uh, this tool is pretty good with eliminating simple mixes. So the first element is block pair. I'm going to add the block pair, I'm going to modify 100. run another mix find and it's joined by page joined by page in the assembler we're gonna pick the uh, block number check out the properties all right, so looking at the properties, uh, this is the specs that the tool comes with automatically. Um, we need to determine how big the block size of our device is. So let's uh, uh, look at the interface here. Uh, so we got uh, 20,000 um, as the jump size, and that's the current location of the device right there. So if we uh, scroll, uh, down or up by page down or page down page up uh, the jump as you can see is split by 200 if we hold down control plus page down it will jump by 20,000 so looking at the um, this first value here 91 all right so we're close here uh, over here it's still 14 and now it's 91 so I played it around with the with some numbers and uh, when we have it set up to 100,000 um, let's see how many page downs it takes until this 91 turns into a different value so we go one two three four it changes C3 one two three four one two three four one two three four so four times changes the value so if we switch it to uh, four over here the value will change every click if we keep it at two hundred thousand we get two clicks 400,000 is the block size gonna copy that and we're gonna put it in here scan it and we're gonna go and find bank size bank sizes are listed here uh, we may have a different bank space uh, let's see what we get to so far yeah you can see that some folders are broken uh, bank space needs a bit of adjustment we're gonna get that modification in 